is Ken Stano. Thank you for checking out History X. Going live tonight because I just discovered or just found out that they made the announcement a couple days ago that they found the shipwreck of the USS Johnston, the famous destroyer that attacked the Yamato um, battle cruiser group, the Japanese battle cruiser group, in October 1944 during the Battle of Leyte Gulf off the Philippines. So, why is this such a big deal? Well, the story of the USS Johnston, and I got a picture of it right here. It's a Fletcher class destroyer that was part of a task force called Taffy 3. And they were kind of left to themselves. Admiral Halsey was actually distracted by another Japanese force. And he took pretty much the whole third fleet, all the ships under his command, and went running after this. Um, unfortunately, it was a diversion that the Japanese put in place. And it left the American task force pretty much unprotected. All of a sudden they find themselves in the path of the Yamato, the largest battleship in the world, along with all these other support ships, heavy cruisers, light cruisers, destroyers. And the Americans just start taking on fire. They were outranged by the Japanese guns. So the USS Johnston led by uh, Commander Evans decided to race ahead so that they could all of a sudden get the Japanese ships within the range of their tiny little guns. And if you look here at the picture I just showed you, pretty much you're talking about five inch guns. That's all this destroyer had was these five inch guns. So it took them about 20 minutes, but Commander Evans took the USS Johnston and just raced ahead until they got into range about 10 miles out and they started firing on the Japanese. And they started scoring hits and it really confused the hell out of the Japanese. They were causing some damage. They fired about 200 rounds and he kept getting closer and closer because the whole goal for Evans was to fire their torpedoes. They had 10 torpedoes on this destroyer and they actually fired the torpedoes and they scored a hit against a heavy cruiser. I think it was called the Cumano. Once they scored, once they shot all their torpedoes, they scored this hit. The Johnston really just started getting pounded. They took a couple of direct hits, one of which wiped out the bridge and you can see the bridge and it got wiped out. So commander Evans had to go to the back and take command at the back of the ship uh, at the steering command at the rudder and just continue directing the Johnston to keep firing their guns on the Japanese. Well, obviously the Johnston got hit and got hit hard and was eventually sunk. And as I said at the beginning of this broadcast, they found the wreck. It's four miles down. It's the, the deepest wreck that's ever been explored. They actually discovered it or they discovered parts of the wreck back in 2019. They discovered, uh, I think a gun turret, some other debris, but they couldn't follow where the debris led. It was just too deep for that submersible. They were at the limits of what it could do. So they went back uh, last month in March and confirmed that it was in fact the uh, USS Johnson and they've published some of these pictures, these underwater images. And you can see here just the damage, the shell hits um, that the Johnston took. I mean, it's just amazing what condition it was in right before it went down. To race ahead, here's a picture of the superstructure. It looks like an anti-aircraft gun there. But this is the picture that truly identified the Johnston. See there, hull number 557. And as you can see in that picture, hull number 557. So that's the picture that confirmed that it was, in fact, the Johnston. Here's another picture of the superstructure um, and the damage that the ship took before it went down. You know, being four miles deep, the ship's obviously in remarkable condition. These pictures are fantastic. And it just makes me very excited to know that they finally found this incredible part of US naval history. So I appreciate you uh, taking the time to watch this video. 
for me to share this with you. Uh, stories like this make me very excited. If you're familiar with some of the other videos that I've done, I, I get really excited when I hear heroic stories. Uh, Commander Evans leading the USS Johnston to just race ahead and, and take on just an overwhelming force. They were outmatched, they were outgunned. I mean, all the odds were against them, but you know what they did was um, save a lot of other lives, save a lot of other ships, and it's stories like that that make an impact with me. So if you found this video interesting, if this is the kind of stuff that you like, I hope you'll consider subscribing to History X because I want to put more of these videos out there. And when I discover uh, you know, new stories like this, I want to be able to jump on and immediately talk about them. If you want to learn more about the John, uh, USS Johnston, get on YouTube, check out some of the other videos that are out there. There's fantastic fantastic content about the Johnston. It's just an amazing story, uh, not only about the ship, but about Commander Evans as well. Thank you for checking out History X. My name is Ken Stano. Hope you'll join me again in the future. Have a great night.